All right, you guys, man, we've been trying to get to this one, man. Uh, I know it came out uh, a couple weeks ago, and I've been, you know, I'm late on stuff. So, um, and I was supposed to do a reaction to Jenny and Screech as well. So, I'm going to have to really catch up on my rim reactions. But today, man, we got Money Game Part 3. All right. So, I reacted to the first two. I'm going to leave a link to the, the in the description for that one. And I've been just really just sitting back watching Ren just grow, man just to see somebody that can grow organically and collab with other reactors and be uh, so humble, man. Even with the battle with King Dada, with him and Knox kind of tag teamed and handle business, you know what I'm saying? Like I really likes Ren, I really love Ren's organic growth as an artist. So with that being said, man, let's get the money game part three and break this down, man. Let's get it. <laughs> Let me rewind it. Mozart? This guy doing Mozart right now. with the melody as well. It's funny how he has the bag over his face and it kind of made me think like, is his, what's under the uh, mask on his face and he got to tie with a rope like real money. So like, is that representation of his image in some aspect? Like I always wondered about why he did that. Oh, so this is a whole cinematic right here. And I just discovered a mirror, everybody. <laughs> Better be glad that one, the uh, cowboy not on that head. quickly four years old he was running round the pavements of his city five years old and his daddy told him listen here son you gotta learn to be a man a man he works for what he wants uh -huh. six years old and he's reading writing top of the bunch and when he's seven his regression made him student number one uh -huh. eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades nine his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame uh -huh. Ten, 11 12 13 he ascends and ascends his daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. 14, solving complex mathematic equations at 50. I like how he said, uh, son, money is just a mean to an end. So it's just a tool. It's just a tool. And that's synonymous with what we have going on in this world as well. But I don't want to jump into that, man. Let's enjoy this. Age nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Uh -huh. 
15 Solving complex mathematical equations at 15 IQ 150 still elevating 16 He develops complex software code That detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols 17 And he sells his vision Keeping the share Not yet an adult But he's practically a millionaire 18 And his daddy tells him Now you're a man This world don't give a damn about you So take all that you can Nine Mm. And so his dad is playing this uh, advocate for, you know, he said money is a tool, but you know, saying get all that you can. So now it's no, it's funny how the um, attitude of the father kind of changed every, every so often. Like uh, when he was five fifteen, and now he's uh, almost twenty. So the father was like, "You got to grow up, be a man, and do whatever you can." You know what I'm saying? Um, 15 father has another message and i see how and it's important the way that how that father plays into how this jimmy is thinking you know what i'm saying so jimmy is doing everything that his father's telling him to do and this is just at the beginning of the song so i wonder where his father i wonder how this father's voice is gonna continue to influence jimmy in this song you're a man This world don't give a damn about you So take all that you can Nineteen He turns a profit Stocks and shares Invest in product Twenty double down deposits Twenty one His income rockets Twenty two He learns the truth Is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data Then the lie will sell itself Twenty three A life of luxury Chris Woo Y'all want to run that back? Hit that again. He won his income rocket. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. Uh. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list. They're applauding his name. 25, and his daddy tells him, listen here, son. While you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. Uh. 26, a business shift. He switches business. See? Every five years, the father has a message for him. And he kind of, he put the hunger for money inside of his son at five. Put, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you got to work. By the time he turns 20, it's saying, hey, now you a man, nobody give a dang. You know what I'm saying? Now he's 25. Hey, you still ain't one yet. So his father's advice is always driving his thinking. And in that palace, that don't mean that you won 26, a business shift He switches business to arms He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite Now he's 30, his daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place I'm so telling you a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba then I, then I, then I say that. Listen to it. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. Thirty one, a big maneuver for his daddy's approval. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. Th That's crazy how this dude's life is being influenced by what his dad is saying. That makes me. I mean, dude, fellas, like for those for those of you who had dads or have dads that's still alive, don't you feel like your father's influence over you kind of? looms a shadow to some degree just motivating you to be who you want to be or being who you are you're just a servant to the king not even in second place man that's so bars a big maneuver for his daddy's approval moving imports over borders from the exports out of cuba 32 moving grams growing kilos to tons he's 33 filling warehouses with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket mm. Thirty-five. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. But it's your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. Thirty-six. Getting pissed off. Abusing his product. Thirty-seven. Eyes glazed. Disposition demonic. Thirty-eight. With a prostitute. A moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. Thirty-nine. Getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes bro. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Didn't I say it? Didn't I say it? 
and hungry for power Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour Makes a move against the cartel but the strategy's flawed They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy He was 40 and he cursed the words Mine, mine, gimme 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43 never running round the pavements of his city 44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping Oh So he said in perspective increases, right? So I like how the camera panned When he was talking about the different versions of him That's why from every five years or to every point he's a different jimmy at and so now he he's in a wheelchair so his progression now since you can't do all those things you start to use your mind and see the perspective man that's that's that true self-awareness bro self-awareness and perspective bro that's part of having great wisdom in life so now are we going to experience a jimmy that's going to become more wise and he's going to be able to have a good race his father died when he was 35. So now how does he deal with the last thing his father told him at 30? That's that's cold, man. Bubble when perspective evolves, weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more, more than, than you need. need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame The way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame Call the music He breaking the fourth wall Come on, Ren this isn't entertainment, this is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention, politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention, law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution? Well, I didn't think he would go into a spoken word right here. I wonder if he going to shoot all the bad. Everything is subject to change. Uh-huh. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with pirates. I'm going to make a prediction. I think every version of Jimmy, he's going to shoot it. Sites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise.
Somebody pee on me? <laughs> 45. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. Mm. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Uh -huh. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. Well, I was wrong about that ending. I don't think this is the end. I think there's a money game part four. Ren, if you out there and you catch this reaction video, let me know. Um, interesting story. I like how um, Ren has a great talent, man, for using the right words at the right moment. You can see how when different things was happening inside of the video, you can see how the music itself was changing as well. Uh, certain tones and stuff. And I was really hoping the father would kind of outlast but outlast the whole song um he actually did but i thought he would be alive to come and tell his son you know what i'm saying what actually the king was and this kind of reminds me of um you know for my anime fans out there you know that watch naruto man like remember when uh shikamaru and his sensei uh asuma right before he fought um hidan and um uh, uh kakazu right he was talking about which of these pieces of the chessboard is the king. And I think the king and what he didn't realize was the next, uh, in that show, particularly, he was talking about the king being the next generation. And um, his father was giving him the warning signs that you're going the wrong way. But that's the thing, you know, right? You, you don't want to always control your kids' destiny how your child receives the information you give them is according to them and how, how they feel. His father did all the right things, gave him the hunger, gave him the, um, gave him the hunger for money uh, early, gave him the hunger for uh, hard work, being able to achieve. Now everything was legit up until he turned 30. So whatever his father told him when he was 30, he felt like he needed to go more towards the drug game. So seeing how that ended by he, by the time he was 40, it's, it's definitely the fruits of that was going on, man. And I really like what Ren did with this one, man. It was a lot to take in, dropping gems. And, and me and Ren kind of feel the same way about money. You know what I'm saying? It's a tool. You know what I'm saying? And whether you do the right things with it is up to you, man. So post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch y'all at another reaction, man. Peace. <laughs>